kind of curious. Does she? Does she hide? Does she? <laughs> oh yeah, it does work, you guys. If you try to steal it, she goes down. Today is going to be a different kind of vlog, you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to tint this Rolls Royce Wraith Wrath. Wraith, the easy way, you guys. This way, you can't go wrong. All right, come, come, come here, you guys. Let's... The supercar blondie in me is uh, coming out. I'm going to show you guys how to close this door. It's, it's kind of weird, but hey, Johnny, you want to come around? But uh, we're actually coming here. You see, there's a door button right there, right there. Just like Tesla, you guys. But here, I'll show you. I'm gonna step aside here, Johnny. Okay. You press the button, but you just don't press. You have to hold it down. I feel like I'm royalty now, you guys. But you know the, the stupid thing is, it doesn't open. See, you hold it, it doesn't open. So you have to manually open it. Tesla's got it. Yeah, Tesla's got them beat on this one. <laughs> All right, guys, so to do this really the easy way without taking the whole door panel apart, so you want to do is roll down the windows first, roll this one down, and uh, we're going to try to expose this gasket here. And to do that, because it's, because it's frameless, we're able to get away with it. See, there's a little bit of movement on this window. So, by Removing the outer trim is going to give us a little bit of more of a gap, just a tiny bit of a gap to get the film in, and that's it. That's the secret sauce of doing this car super easy without taking any of this stuff apart. So what we're going to do is grab this, and just pull up, and there you go, and it comes right out, simple. And we're going to do that to the front ones there too. I already did that to the other side. Come on over. As you can see here, I already removed the outer trim. And now, come on around this way, Johnny. Now, you see, it gives me that little gap now. Now all you do is just slip the film in and we're good to go. All right guys, so I already cut off the film. Um, of course, this, uh, of course, it's a Rolls Royce. You're going with the highest top of the line Lumar has to offer, which is Stratos. And this is a Stratos 35 ceramic, multi layer ceramic film, you guys, of course. So, you guys, with these particular models, because uh, it's a coupe. The rear quarter windows roll down and it makes it really, really difficult to tint. Um, just the way it drops down. And it goes really, really deep inside here. And there's really, it's impossible to tint this thing cleanly with no dirt or anything without taking this panel apart. But I'm gonna show you a trick. We're gonna cheat and get away with it. I'll show you. As in the beginning of the video, I showed you guys how to take this trim off on both of them. Right now, this is the trick so that you don't have to take this quarter panel off. And to take this panel off, you just, there's a lot of work to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel back this trim here. I'm gonna peel back this trim, and it goes inside here. We're gonna pull it out, and voila! Now all of this here is exposed. Look, see where my finger ends. See, now it's all exposed. There you go, you guys. That's how you tint. Wrath, rear, quarter panel. Simple. Gonna get rid of all the stickers and uh, clean this all up and we'll be right back, you guys. Ugh, let, me just, let me move this out of the way for you guys so that you can, have, you can see me a little better. But there's a little gasket inside here. You guys got just gotta push that down so that when you throw the film in, this gasket won't be in the way here. But realistically, this is really hard to remove, you guys. It's it's not worth it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But let me uh, just clean this all up for you guys, and I'm gonna show you guys how to throw it in. 
the best the best part is the I guess the most important part is you guys got to get it super clean you got to get it clean and it'll make your job so much easier you take your time clean the window properly you guys because these are dual pane there's a lot of dirt that sits on top here I'll show you on this one after how much dirt there is oh look at that look at that see look at all that that's just from the dual pane laminated glass Yeah, don't be afraid to clean it multiple times, you guys. You can't really go wrong with it. The cleaner it is, the better it is for your install. It make it a lot, a lot, lot easier to go. A lot smoother. Come on with me. Let's go throw this window. So, pick it up. We're gonna walk around. It's nice to have an extra set of eyes. Because what I'll do is I'll get Johnny to watch and guide me in on the top because I can't see the end of the window. Try not to handle the adhesive side and uh, try not to touch anything. And we're good to go. How much further up, Johnny, please? A little more. Good. Good? Good. Look at that. So much easier, you guys. All right, guys, look how easy that is. It's super clean, especially around the edges here. Hopefully the camera's catching it. But that's how you do a Wraith rear quarter window. Super clean, you guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna move on to the uh, door. Of course, I already have it all taken apart and it opens like a suicide door here. I'm not gonna hit my car, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and show you guys how to throw this one in. All right, just like uh, the quarter window, it's very important to clean the top. Especially these cars, or most modern cars these days, they're like uh, laminated glass. We're also known as the two double pane glass here. Uh, and a lot of dirt gets stuck in between the two here. So it's very important to clean this part. And if you can see, that's where the dirt gets all trapped in there. So you wanna make sure you that all nice and clean. Clean that. And then we'll throw the window in. The only thing important about these new uh, cars with leather trims, especially exotic cars and stuff, you want to make sure the panel is white so it doesn't soak, soak in. And once it's soaked thin, you'll see like little blisters everywhere, and then you have yourself a big problem. So come on over here, let's uh, grab the window. Because I took that trim out, now we're able to cheat by just pushing on the, frame, the window itself. It gives yourself just a little bit of a gap, just right there, and the window just slides, the wall, the film slides right into the window. There's no issues here. Make sure 
Alignment is good. Just like that. Double check. Make sure everything's laid down. All right, guys, that was pretty simple. It's all done now. And of course, nothing was taken apart on the door panel. Super clean. Edges are nicely done. And that's it. Now we're just gonna start putting everything back together and we'll get to the back window, you guys. And these quarter windows are pretty straightforward because it has a, the border here. And just pretty much just make sure it's clean and just throw it in. Yeah, this window is pretty straightforward, you guys, just because it has that black border. Just make sure it's clean and just chuck it in. That's it. Good. All right up next, we're just going to put these ones back in. It's pretty straightforward, you guys. All right guys, guess how long it's gonna take Johnny to heat this window down? Leave a comment below you guys, but let's see. Minute and 30 seconds, clock it. Okay, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pressure's on, pressure's on. Feel pressure. Big guns, you need guns like this. No pressure, no pressure. You left the finger there. Look at the face of determination there, you guys. Look at the face. Look at, look at that mustache. Dirty stash. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what? You're under a minute. Time. Good. Good. What it is does, it? It was like a minute. Well, about a minute. About a minute. Oh, about a minute. Well, put time on the board. <laughs> Not bad. The kids can. It's a relatively easy window anyway, so. What? I'll, I'll, I'll give. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Not bad. Not bad. Mr. Not bad. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this, and let's go and throw it in. All right, guys. So now that we've uh, shrunk the back window down, because these headrests actually don't come out and the seats don't collapse, we have to take it apart. So uh, first, you gotta take the lower seat cushion off. It should just pull up, and it should come right out, just like that. And you're gonna do that to the other side. That and pull out. I'm gonna pull away, guys. Here, here, okay. There you go. So, after that, you gotta pull this off. I just gotta pull up hard. There you go. It just pretty much clipped in with this spring here. Let me put that aside here. And then there's a Torx here, two of them, and two Torx up top, and one Torx here. And this whole headrest should come off. The whole backside should come off. Two. Jimmy out of there. Like that. And then I get the two. It works down here. Right here, you guys. And then this whole back rest comes right out 
as one solid piece. So you'll need a hand. This is a, I tell you, this is a stupid design, you guys. Oh. But here we go, it's all out. Oh. I'm gonna set it down right here. Do a couple curls, bro. Oh yeah. That's it, done. Whew, that's pretty much done. So taking that headrest out, you guys, what a huge difference. Like, I've done it before with the headrest in and it's massively difficult. Uh, I don't recommend it. I would, if you can, I would take it out, take the headrest out and install it and look, it's super clean, you guys. Not even one dust speck. And of course, it's still fresh right now, but it'll, it'll cure by tomorrow and yeah, you guys, huge difference. Beautiful Rolls Royce, Wrath, or Wraith, whatever you call this. We're gonna clean it up and uh, let's have a look at it and let's see what it's all about, you guys. I mean, these cars are pretty sick, you guys, but man, they're so expensive. But it's kind of understandable because the premium material they, they use and like the headliner and... Let's, let's, let's just take a look at this thing. It's pretty standard. Uh, if you've ever been in a Rolls Royce, they all look the same. And it's pretty cool, I have to say. But very comfortable, you guys. Super, super comfortable. Yeah, kind of the door buttons. Let's see, see if it closes. And turn it on. Let's try again. Let's see if it closes here. And when you let go, it stops. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> but you have to manually open it. <laughs> pretty heavy door. Pretty heavy door, you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to tackle this kind of car, I would recommend it's, I would say a four out of five level of difficulty. And it's probably recommended for more advanced uh, installers. I do make it really, really easy for you guys if you do want to attempt it, but a lot of things can really go wrong if you really don't know what you're doing. So hopefully the video helps out, give you guys a little more confidence in doing it. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, if you guys like to see more more videos like this, let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll bring you guys more videos. See you guys. See ya.